Okay, so welcome to our special right triangle review. You don't have any notes on this in your packet. We went over this in chapter 7, so it's nothing new. It's just a review of something we've already learned. Um, if you would like to take notes, you can. If you don't want to take notes, I'm just understanding that you're going to watch the video and pay attention. There are a few examples at the end that you're going to have to do. So when I am talking about special right triangles, I mean 45, 45, 90 triangles and 30, 60, 90. Hopefully we remember the ratio for 45, 45, 90 is L, L, L root 2. For 30, 60, 90 is L, L root 3, and then 2L. So all we're going to do today is do some examples with these two types of triangles. Looking at example number one, I have a 90 degree and a 30 degree, which means my last angle is 60 degrees. So I have 30, 60, 90, L, L root 3, and 2L. Now I need to look at what do I have. I have the side across from the 30. So under the 30, I'm going to write 9. This tells me that L equals 9. L root 3 then is going to be 9 root 3. And 2 times L, 2 times 9, is going to be 18. Okay, in this case, Y is across from the 90. Looking at my 90, that means Y equals 18. X is across from the 60. Looking at my ratio, that means X equals 9 root 3. And that's it. I don't want a decimal. I want your answer left exact like that. So that's it. Let's look at another one. Okay, here's example two. Again, I have a 90 degree, I have a 30 degree, so my last angle is 60. We're going to start with our ratio. So we have 30, 60, 90, L, L root 3, and 2L. Now we need to look at what do I know? I know the side across from the 90. So under the 90, this side is 24. I leave it at just 24. Sometimes students are tempted because of this 2 to double it. I need to think across from the 90, my side says 24. So 24 is what I need to write. Now this tells me that 2L equals 24. If I divide by 2, I get L to be 12 then. So under L, I'm going to write 12. L root 3 then is going to be 12 root 3. Now in this case, I need to define what is P and what is Q. Well, P is across from the 30, so P across from the 30 is going to be 12. Q is across from the 60, so looking at my ratio, across from the 60 is 12 root 3. So that was another 30, 60, 90 example. I also want to make sure that we go over 45, 45, 90 examples. So here's a 45, 45, 90. I have a 90, I have a 45, so my missing angle is going to be 45. Starting with my ratio, I have 45, 45, 90, L, L, L root 2. Now, what do I have? I have the 7, which is across from the 45. So under the 45, I'm going to write a 7. This tells me L equals 7. So my other L is still going to be 7. And L root 2, then, is going to be 7 root 2. Now, x is across from the 90, so in this case, x equals 7 root 2. Okay, let's look at another example. Here's another example. I have my angles are 45, 45, 90, so I'm going to start with that. My ratio is L, L, L root 2. Okay, I need to look at what do I have. The side I have is across from the 45. So under the 45, I'm going to write 9 root 2. Now this tells me that L equals 9 root 2. So my other L is still going to be 9 root 2. Now across from the 90 is L multiplied by root 2. Well, I know my L is 9 root 2. So this is going to be 9 root 2. But then I need to multiply by another root 2 for this root 2. So this right here is the L, and then this is this root 2. Now root 2 and root 2 is 9, 4, so that 
I mean root 4, so this is going to be 9 root 4. Square root of 4 is 2, so this is just going to be 9 times 2, which is 18. X is across from the 90, so X in this case is 18. Okay, I know that was a really quick review, um, but hopefully that jogged some of your memories about special right triangles. You do have an example that you're going to do. Here is your example. Now, this needs to be on a separate sheet of paper, and we will, we will be going over it in class tomorrow. If you do not bring this, this problem in, I'm going to assume that you did not watch the video and you will not receive credit. If you're confused or have any questions, rewind the video and rewatch the parts that you need. If you have any questions, bring them to class tomorrow. See you tomorrow.